you old pal Jiggly. Uh, I recently posted a video regarding the Hedden Crazy Crawler. Um, and I got flack for talking about it and not actually fishing with it because I can't hold my phone and fish at the same time. So what I've done is I've taught my penis how to hold my phone. So uh, that's why you're about penis height. And I'm going to cast this right straight out here in front of me. And I'm going to bring it up to the camera um, so that you guys can see the action. Uh, the head and crazy crawler has been around for decades. This one's probably from the 70s or 80s. I don't know for sure. But they're still out on the market today. So you can buy one. Um, but let's uh, give this thing a cast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring it right here in front of the camera. So that you guys can see the crazy wobble this thing has. And Maybe we'll get lucky and catch something. There it comes. There you go. Ah, oh, and I hit some stuff. Let me get the crud off of it and I'll do it again. Well, I tell you what. My dick being able to hold the camera this steady and this smooth is nothing short of amazing. There it comes. Now I don't see anything that I can get it caught in before I get it right in front of the camera. Look at that action. Look at that wobble. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, we are at 30 seconds left if I'm going to do this for a... Uh... Wish they made a weedless version. Well, it looks like our three minutes is up. So there you go, there is the Hedden Crazy Crawler Vintage Fishing. Howdy old friends and neighbors, you're just in time for another uh, short episode of Antique Fishing. We are going to use Yeah, doesn't that look like fun? This is a Norman Lures Weed Walker version 2. Version 2 puts it somewhere uh, late 70s-ish. Uh, the skirt is new, by the way. I put that on there because it didn't have one. Um, I'm going to chuck this out. And reel that in uh, right in front of the camera so that you guys can see it. My uh, penis is holding the camera. It is multi-talented. And it uh, throws up a lot of water. Uh, it does not float. I'm gonna have my penis turn the camera that way a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Which baffled me when I first used this. I thought with it being a weed walker that it would literally walk on top of the weeds. So it's kind of got the action of a uh, buzz bait. But sure enough, when you get to the weeds, as long as it's already...
Hi ho there friends and neighbors, your old pal Jiggly here, another episode of Secret Spots with Jiggly. We're going to do some antique fishing today. We're going to use, uh, as soon as I get it in front of the camera, Oop, too close. This is the Roland Martin helicopter lure. This is uh, vintage from the 90s. Now the helicopter lure can be used lots of ways. You can crank it and have it ride the surface like a uh, buzz bait, like that. I'll do that again. There you go, like it, like a, like a buzz bait. You can also let it sink, and as it sinks, and I hope the camera picks it up, it spins when it sinks. And then you can pull it up, and you see it spinning as it pulls up. See if I can't get the camera down there closer. Slide down, bastard. Alrighty. So I'm going to let it drop. Hopefully you can see it spinning. And then I'll bring it. Mighty ho I'm going to throw another antique vintage lure, and this one I actually have no idea what it is. There's no brand or name or markings on it of any kind.
Figured since I was out here at the uh, the pond and there's all these lily pads and stuff. This will be the last uh, antique lure that I throw today. The mosquitoes have discovered me and I am delicious. This is a lazy Ike. Um, 